stopped my husband from taking his own life, and he thinks I never knew his plans. My husband and I are 28. We have three kids. He's the only boyfriend I've ever had. He's been with me since high school. He's always had low self-esteem. I do too, but not like he does. One day, we got new phones. Maybe seven years ago, I found out I can read his texts. He can see mine too, but he didn't know about it. This happened for like another two years. For his birthday and Christmas, I'd snoop around his texts and see if there's something he was talking about that he wanted. One day, around November, I was being nosy to see what I can get him for Christmas. I was pregnant with our second child at the time. I saw he was texting someone something suspicious, saying, where can we meet and I thought this was with another girl. I read them more, and I found out he was buying drugs. My husband and I don't even drink, so I freaked out. I wondered about how long this was going in for if I even knew my own husband anymore. Turns out he was buying something that doesn't get you high but kills you. I looked around everywhere. I tore our room apart and didn't find anything. I went through the search history and all his emails on his phone when he was asleep that night, and found out oh, he was making arrangements for a specific date three months after I was due. He was looking at life insurance, which we have had since I'm a stay-at-home mom. He was even looking up how much tea costs to be cremated. Once he got home, the first thing I did was sneak his phone and text that guy and say, I'm no longer interested. If someone else tells you otherwise, it means someone else has my phone, and delete that guy's number. I didn't want him to know I was snooping, but the thought of my husband not being around tore me. I remember being sick to my stomach and bawling in our room, just thinking of the idea of not having him around. I love him more than life in itself. I would die for him and not even have to think about it. My husband is my entire world. That day on I made sure he knew that, even if it meant embarrassing myself, I started bringing him flowers at work almost every day. When he would come through the door I would screech with excitement and give him a hug and a smooch and tell him I missed him so much, and I couldn't stop thinking about him all day. When I was out with him how beautiful and handsome he was. When he was around my friends, I'd say look at my husband. He's so beautiful I'd call him at work and ask how much longer until he's home. I got him to start going to therapy too. One night I woke him up because I was freaking out and couldn't sleep. I told him I had a nightmare. I said I had a dream he passed away. He said, why is that a bad thing? And I told him how he's my entire world, and other than our son, and our other on the way, he's all I live for. He said, but things would be better if I was out of your hair. And I said, no, they wouldn't. If you left me, it would literally ruin my life. He said, not if you're financially well off, you'll be much better off. And I said, I could have all the money in the world. It would mean nothing if I didn't have you. I'd much rather be homeless but still have you as my husband than be filthy rich, and you'd be gone. And he said, are you serious? And I said, 100%. I'd sleep under a bridge if it meant I still got to sleep next to you. He said, I didn't know you felt that way, and I said, I really do. I asked if I could go with him to therapy. He said yes. I told his therapist I think he has depression, and he admitted he might. He got a prescription, and it seemed to help him a whole lot. Even though it's been five years, I still do all those nice things for him. Like call him handsome and bring him flowers. I don't ever want him to second guess for a second that he's my sunshine.